Databases should be effective, well documented and easy to access. Using DB Schema, you can work in a powerful environment where you can design your schema, access the data and document the database. My name is Nick and together we will take a tour of the DB Schema features. DB Schema uses layouts for representing the database schema. Here we can see the tables with columns and foreign keys. To edit any of the items, just double click it. We can drag the tables in the layout using the mouse. Also we can switch the foreign key routing from simple to joint where each foreign key is pointing to the exactly matching columns. Sometimes the database could be large, therefore we may need to create more than one layout. Here I create one more layout, movie, including some of the tables. By pressing the foreign key icon, I can continue adding further tables to the layout. Relational Data Browse is one of the most important features of DB Schema. Using it, we can view data from multiple tables at a time. Let's start a browse session. I add few tables to the browse pane by dragging them from layout. Here we can see the table's data. We can also add tables by clicking the foreign key icon. We can add as many tables as we want. If I click one of the records, the child tables with the will be updated with the related data. For each table, we can specify filters, namely where conditions, do ordering, and so on. The Query Builder Using the Query Builder, you can create complex queries only using the mouse. I start a new query builder from the menu. I drag few tables from layout in the query pane. I open the SQL view pane to show the current SQL statement. I switch one of the join conditions to exist. From the column checkboxes, I can set the columns which will be used in the query. Just few clicks and the query is ready. I press the run button to execute it. Here is the result. The SQL Editor Using the SQL Editor, you can edit SQL queries and execute them. You can make use of the autocomplete feature. Let's run the query. The result can be ordered by one of the columns with a single click. All the SQL work will be saved together with the project and can be later reopened from the tree pane. Let's now explain a bit how DB Schema is built to work with databases. Usually, you'll first connect to an existing database. 
DPShima can also start with an empty project, which will be later uploaded on the database. DPShima can then save the project to its own disk file. The saved file can be reopened and you can continue working on the Shima, even if no database is available. You also have the option to compare your project with a second database and eventually to commit some of the differences on that database or refresh the project. You can change the project database type and convert the Shima to another database like Oracle or continue uploading the Shima on a new database. The saved DBShima project file is an XML file which can be opened with the text editor. Besides the Shima information, it contains all your SQL and browse work. Each of the SQL and browse sessions are saved under a layout. In this way, the project can be organized better, like setting a layout for each of the application modules. Our presentation finished here. Let me wish you a nice time by using DBShima. Bye!